In this episode of Project Marsha, we take our trunk lid and repair the rust to the inner structure and get the trunk lid ready to go on the car. All right, so I started working on this trunk lid and we have a lot of rust here on the inner structure panel. This is where leaves and debris and stuff will sit in the bottom of the trunk lid and it uh, just stays wet all the time and it rusts from the inside out. So being as the trunk lid that's on the car is still good, we're gonna cut this section out and then we'll go to that trunk lid and we'll cut the exact same section out and we'll graft it in to this support piece so that we've got a nice solid structure again. So I've already started here. On this piece I have to be a little bit more careful because I'm trying to preserve the outer skin. And so I've been unfolding the outer skin where it laps over the inner structure piece to reveal the edge of this piece so that when I cut this out I can cut it without having to cut the outer skin or having to replace where that folds over at. So once we get our piece back in here, we can fold this back over, hammer and dolly this nice and flat and straight again, get it put back where it needs to be, and everything will be good and solid. Hey guys, I've been working feverishly here on, on Project Marsha with Ashton helping me out when he can. He's here for the summer, so he's going to be helping me out a little bit more. But I wanted to tell you about an upcoming event that we're going to have Marsha at, as long as we can get her done in time. It's going to be September 13th through the 15th in Bowling Green, Kentucky. It's the 5th annual Holly Mo Party. So be sure to come out to the show. We've got some special guests coming to be in the Mopar Connection booth this year. We're going to have Muscle Car Restorations there with a couple of their projects. Also, Robert and Justin of Kibby and Friends uh, Podcast will be there with their General Lee and a replica of Daisy's 74 Roadrunner. Why are we going to have Daisy's 74 Roadrunner there? Well, that's our other special guest that's going to be presented by AMD. We're going to have Miss Catherine Bach there, better known as Daisy Duke. So come out and visit us at the booth. We'll be there selling some shirts. We've got these great shirts. What does Mopar mean to you? With the Mopar Connection logo on the front here. You can also pick these up at www.moparconnectionmagazine.com. Go to the store and shop for a shirt. Help support the magazine. Help support these projects we got going on. Hope to see you out at the show on September 13th through the 15th. Again, at Bowling Green, Kentucky. Hopefully we'll see you there. I won't be there. Will I be there? <clears throat> Alright, well I got my piece cut out of the trunk. And uh it's uh you know old Marsh has got some some flaws here. I'll show you the two pieces. Now I cut my other piece out of the trunk lid that's on the car which is this one here and as you can see it's got a few places where it's got some issues too some holes there but this one is a lot more perforated uh, than the other trunk lid so I don't know I may make pieces for here to fix this and fix this flange. I may cut it off of this piece and put it onto this piece. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. I was hoping this piece would have been in a little bit better shape, especially along the flange area here. Um, but it is what it is. It's all we've got to work with. They don't make these parts for these cars. So this is what you have to deal with when you're working on a car that they don't make anything for. Well, it's been a while since I've worked on the trunk lid. I was spending time working on the body on the car. I wanted to get back on this. I need to get this <clears throat> finished up and get the trunk lid back on the car, get it fit, and get the other side painted, and have it ready to go in for final paint. So I've got my piece I cut out of the original trunk lid. Remember, this is a replacement trunk lid. So I've got my piece that I cut out of the original trunk lid that was in a little better shape than this section in this trunk lid and I've made some repairs to it. I've had to replace this corner. It was rotted. 
and replace this section of the flat piece here where it meets the, the outer skin and with some holes in it along here. I fixed all that and I've got it fit pretty close to where it needs to be so I can get this welded in. I uh, just need to trim a little bit along the edge here. Uh, you can see a little bit of gap here. But I've got a piece I'm going to make up that will bridge that. It will go on the inside so that it will give some support to both pieces and then I can weld right down the center and everything will be good and solid. I'll probably put a piece behind here just to bridge that gap there. And then we'll come along here and we'll slice and move this down and weld it in as we go. And that'll get this solid along here. This edge looks really close here. And once we've got all that in, then I can fold my flange back over again and uh, get everything put back the way it's supposed to be. Weld up my seam here and along here. Here, there's some places I need to make some repairs to and then but before we do any of that I need to take this back out and I've cleaned up in here as best I can so we're going to give it just a shot of some uh, self etch primer to give it a little bit of protection while it's opened up I can get some paint in here and we'll also paint the uh, back side of this piece so that it's got some protection on it. And then we'll get it ready to weld everything in. Okay, so I've got my filler piece tacked in here, just where I need it, and uh, everything's been painted. So we're going to go ahead and sit this in here and start to tack weld this. Now I want to start at a place where I've got a really good meeting surface at, which is right here along this edge. So I'm going to put a couple of tacks along here. Now remember this edge is not welded in here at all. It's simply held in by your outer skin that's folded over. And it did break here for about this far. It split trying to fold it back over. It may split more as I fold it back down. So we'll just have to tack along the edge and grind and make it look nice. Uh, but this will get a couple, of, it does have a few tacks, once it's folded over it has a tack like every six inches they would tack the, the, uh, the skin to the inner structure just to, so it wouldn't move around. And then everything will get a bead of uh, seam sealer around it afterwards also. So I'm going to go ahead and finish fitting this up and get this welded in here good and solid. 
and then I'll bring you back once I've got everything in. Okay, I've got my piece welded all in and my welds ground down everywhere. Uh, most of these will be good enough to just maybe do a real light coat of uh, polyester filler over just to smooth over any imperfections, make it look like there's no transition there, and uh, it'll be good to go. This section here, I'll have to put a little bit of filler in here. That's where that bridge piece was I put in there. So the last thing we got to do is fold over our edge, which I've done here, as you can see. It went back over nicely. I put a couple of tacks here just to hold it like the factory did. So I'm going to go ahead and set you up here and let you watch and see how this is done. It's really quite simple. So all you got to do is take a good dolly, lay it against the outside of your skin, and just start to hammer down your edge. Work your way along. You don't want to do one section at a time. You want it to be even. That's all there is to it. Hammer her down and hammer it home. Now, as you can see, this all broke off just from the stress of the metal being uh, moved back and forth. It just cracked. So we'll just have to go along and we'll get this. We'll, we'll hold this with a pair of uh, <coughs> pliers, vice grips hold it together like so and I'll just tack all the way along here and make that solid again dress it and everything will be like it was never happened okay the final part completed we've welded up the edge along here and got everything ground down nice and level so once everything is finished off it'll look just as good as it was before we had done anything to this trunk lid. Okay, so that wraps up the repairs on the infrastructure on this trunk lid. And I hope this helped you see how you can take two trunk lids and make a good one out of two. If you can't find a completely good solid trunk lid or you can't buy a new trunk lid for your project, there's always a way to fix what you have. So here we have it, Project Marshall trunk lid, ready to go back on the car get it back on, make sure everything lines up good, make any tweaks to the, to the areas that we need to, and get everything so we've got some nice gaps around our, our trunk opening. Hopefully you uh, got something out of this, and uh, maybe we'll see you with the car September 15th through the 17th at Bowling Green, Kentucky for the Mo Party Show. Until then, we'll see you again soon.